welcome to our programming channel today we will see data table in edu.net we require system.data namespace for data table like tables in sql data table is also represents the relational data in tabular form that is rows and columns when we create data table it does not have table schema we can create table schema by adding columns and constraints to the table after adding columns and constraints we can add rows to the data table properties of data table columns to get collection of columns constraints to get collection of constraints data set to get data set default view to get a customized view primary key to get or set an array of columns that function as primary key for the table minimum capacity to get or set the initial starting size of table rows to get collection of rows table name to get or set data table name methods of data reader some methods of data reader are clear clone copy create data reader get schema new project asp.net web application name of project data table in edio.net click ok select empty click ok right click on project add new item web form data table form add right click view code now in page load event first we will create simple data table with columns and rows simple data table with columns and rows
hit a table dt new data table now here we cannot see data table properly and here we can see error the type or namespace name data table could not be found are you missing a using directive or an assembly reference so here we can click on this down arrow near bulb and now we can select this using system dot data so if we click or select using system dot data now here we can see this namespace is added here or we can add namespace manually using system dot data and now we cannot see any error first we will add columns and then we will add rows this is the object dt of this data table class so dt dot columns dot add movie id here we can give table name also but we are creating simple data table so we are not giving any table name here so now dt dot columns dot add movie name then dt dot columns dot add director dt dot columns dot add year and now after adding columns or we can say after defining schema of table table schema means columns and constraints but here we are adding columns only and not adding constraints like unique constraint or other constraints and now we are adding rows so dt dot rows dot add movie id 1 movie name Jurassic Park Director Steven Spielberg Year that is year of release 1993 in this way we will add next rows dt dot rows dot add to king kong peter jackson 
dt.rules.add3 Godzilla size does matter Roland Emerick nineteen ninety eight DT dot rose dot add four Godzilla versus Kong. Adam Wingard and year twenty twenty one. So these are the columns and these are the rules. To display data table, we need red view control. ID of grid view is grid view one. Grid view one dot data source is equal to DT. Grid view one dot data bind. See in Google Chrome or web browser. So this is the data table with Columns, movie ID, movie name, director, year, with four rows. That's all for data table in adio.net. In our channel, there are regular uploads of programming related videos. So for latest updates, please subscribe the channel and like and share videos. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.